Hello, BFit Nation. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday here. Welcome back once again. So today we have There we are, there we are. So once again, we have our BFIT Live program for us every Monday here. Here is our chance to focus on ourselves, focus on our health and our wellness with our just under 30 minute program here. I'd like to introduce my guest, Senior Mass Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hi, good morning, Roy, I'm doing good. Good morning, BFIT Nation. <laughs> yes, ma'am, absolutely. So welcome, get settled in, find your working space here, all right? Find a spot that works best for you, whether you are at home, in a home setting, uh, whether you are in a alternative setting like myself. Uh, today, we are gonna be focusing on a little bit more strength training, some, some resistance training for today. So if you have any dumbbells, if you have any resistance, uh, go ahead and grab that now. Go ahead and set yourself up with some water, with a towel. You, um, you may need a mat for uh, one or two of the the exercises. So if you have a mat, that would be a little bit more comfortable for you, but it is definitely not needed. Okay. So we can still execute these movements without any, um, any mats at all. But if you have any resistance, go ahead and grab that and we can scale up through our working sets as needed. So the way our programming goes for today, our timing is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round, and we have four rounds to accomplish. Once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round, giving us time to rest up, uh, recover, reset, and rehydrate, and then uh, get ready for that next working round. All right, I will go through demos, and I will demo demonstrate each movement so that way we know exactly what's going to happen during each round all four exercises, and then we'll jump into some dynamic stretching, and then we will move on to the workout. So, BFIT Nation, I hope you're ready. It's a good one. Strength training coming up for you today, all right? So, with that, let me go ahead and demo four exercises, four movements for today. Um, again, if you have any dumbbells, any weights, let's go ahead and grab those now uh, while we get settled in. <clears throat> so, before that, though, let us know where you're joining us from. Drop us a note in the comments, okay? I have our feed up with me right now. So if you have any questions, any comments, um, any modifications that you are looking for, go ahead and let us know while we progress uh, through this workout. So exercise number one, we have a squat to overhead press, utilizing our dumbbells. <clears throat> we are going to rack them in the front rack position here. Our feet are going to be shoulder width apart, okay? Shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees. We are gonna drop those hips back and down. Chest is going to stay up. Head is going to stay looking forward, right? Down into that squat, wherever that comfort level may be. If this is your lower squat here, that's gonna be your, let's say, uh, mid squat in that standing position, wherever that comfort level is, find that for you. We are into that squat. And then we are going to press overhead to that overhead press, right? Engaging that lower body and engaging those shoulders for that squat to overhead press, all right? That's gonna be exercise number one. Exercise number two, we are on deck here for high plank rows, okay? A little bit of core stability and uh, engaging that mid to upper back and those lats with a core high plank row. So two options here, okay? I'm gonna show you one and then I will show you a second version that Sergeant Barry will um, tackle during this <clears throat> second movement. So high plank row. Okay, into that high plank position, those feet are gonna be shoulder width apart here. We are going to keep those dumbbells in front of us over uh, just underneath our chest at chest level. All right, we want to engage that core, bring that navel back to our spine. Nice flat back, hips are gonna try and stay square to the floor. We are gonna bring that elbow up towards the ceiling, tucking in that elbow close to our torso, right? Then right back down, engaging those lats. All right, engaging that core for that high plank row. All right. Um, that's going to be exercise number two. All right, an option here, if we need to scale back with that high plank row, we'll just come off of our knees here. Nice, strong, strong core. Once again, tucking in those elbows close to our torso here. That head wants to stay in alignment with that spine. Once again, try not to look down, try not to look up. Let's keep that spine neutral. All right, rowing here off of our knees for that mod. And if we want to take it to standing position, essentially the same type of row here. We wanna hinge at our hips here, soft bend at the knees, hips, I'm sorry, uh, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart here. Hinging at those hips, 
and we are going to row right here. We can alternate or we can do uh, both arms uh, together, but this is going to be our bent over row right here. Back is flat in those hips, hinge back and get pushed back as well. All right, nice strong back, head is in alignment with that spine, rowing left arm and right arm, tucking in that elbow close to our torso. All right, that's going to be an option for, say, for uh, exercise number two. All right, number three, we are back to standing position here. Back of our workout space, we are gonna take a 45 degree lunge forward. And at the bottom of this movement, we are gonna go into a bicep curl. So forward lunge, 45 degree lunge, drop that, revert, drop that rear knee down into that bicep curl. And once you come out, you come back to starting at standing position. And then you alternate right leg and left leg, keeping that chest up and that head up, looking straight ahead as we work on activating that lower body along with that upper body bicep curl. All right, make sure to keep those shoulders back, roll them back. Once again, if you feel them caving in forward, roll them back, try to keep a little bit of a mindful presence on your shoulder um, activation. All right, and last and final exercise to round out our workout for today, we're gonna take a half knee low to high wood chop here. So the thought is we want to engage our core and our obliques specifically, okay? If your left knee is up, you're gonna take that resistance, two hands on the dumbbell here. It can be um, <clears throat> grabbed on either side or during the middle here. All right, take it from your right hip and you're gonna extend with a straight arm across that body, trying to keep those arms straight over to the left upper side. Control that movement right back down and then you're right back up for that low to high chop, okay? Engaging that core and that oblique on that opening side, okay? Um, 20 seconds on each leg. So after 20 seconds, we're going to alternate and go the opposite direction from low to high here, all right? It doesn't take much resistance to really feel that core engagement, okay? That's what we're about here it's with exercise number four, keeping that core tight and thinking about focusing on that oblique as you come from low to high. All right, that's going to be exercise number four. Those are gonna be the four movements that are gonna round us out for today's BFIT Live. All right, BFIT Nation, how are we feeling? How are we doing? All right, we are looking good. We are looking good, team. Okay, let's get settled in once again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great way to start off your Monday. Great way to focus on our health and our wellness. We'll jump into some dynamic stretches right now and then we'll jump into our workout. All right, team. Sergeant Barry, looks like you're ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right, let's get things started with some dynamic stretching, okay? So we wanna make sure that we warm up our bodies just as well as our minds to get ourselves prepared and set ourselves up for success for this workout. So dynamic quad stretch, stretch coming up first. All right, take that right knee extended back behind your hips here. And that left arm is going to shoot up overhead, giving yourself that nice stretch in your quad, in your hip flexors, as well as in that shoulder that is pressing all the way up. We're gonna do each of these movements for about 30 seconds here. So go ahead and alternate to your pace. If you need to sit in, on some mobility work, just a little bit longer. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and feel out. This is a great time to scan that body to see how you're feeling today. I know every day may be a little different. Our bodies will let us know. All right, let's go into a reverse lunge with a reach, reverse lunge overhead reach, top of our workout space, dropping that rear leg back down, hands come together, come up and reach over. Your right leg went back, you're reaching over to your left, Pause for a second, back to standing position. Left leg goes back, hands come overhead and you reach over to your right. Comfortably reach here. You're gonna feel that stretch once again, some lower body work here in those quads, those hips. With that reach over, you'll feel that stretch in your lats, your shoulders, mid to upper back. Good, good, good. Two more here. Nice, comfortable pace here. Last one for me. All right, team, let's go into some lateral lunges here. Some lateral shifting of our body here. Feet are gonna be 
nice and wide here. Feet and toes are gonna to be fixed forward here. We are going to shift our weight over to our right, feeling that stretch in our inner thigh, and then shifting over to our left, all right? Keeping that chest up, that head is looking straight ahead. Nice, comfortable shifting of weight here, nothing too aggressive. When you feel that stretch in your inner thigh, that's going to be right around where you wanna sit at. Maybe take a pause for a second if you need to. Good. Out in three, two, one. All right, team, let's hit some hip circles right now. All right, right leg forward, right leg back, left leg back, left leg forward. How many of us, how many of us have been sitting for a long period of time over the weekend? These are great dynamic stretches to incorporate into your daily routine to get your body moving here in case you are feeling a little tight in your hips and any muscle groups as well. All right. It's a great regimen to start incorporating into your active lifestyle here. All right. Last one here. All right. Back into YTWs to finish this out here. All right, we're gonna make nice, big, lengthening Ys with our arms here. So we are at center, feet are shoulder width apart here. We're gonna make a big Y with our arms here. Feeling that stretch come back in those shoulder blades and in those shoulders, making a big T, stretching out left and right as far as you can. Making a strong W here, bringing those shoulder blades together once again. Good, big Y here. A little bit further than last time. Back to center, big T. Good, good, good. Back to W here. Nice strong stance. Big Y last time around here. Nice deep breath in, big T. Left and right all the way. And last but not least that W. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, team, we are good. We are ready to go shake it off, towel off. Hydrate, 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 and let's get ready to work. I'm going to prepare my timer here, and then we will get to work here. <clears throat> All right, team, once again, exercise number one, a dumbbell squat to press. Exercise number two, high plank rows or a bent over row to attack that back. Exercise number three, a 45 degree front lunge, forward lunge with a bicep curl at the bottom. And exercise number four is going to be that low to kneeling high pull or high wood chop. All right. Let's see team. All right. Uh, one second and I am back. All right team, grab that dumbbell squat to high press coming up in seven seconds. <clears throat> Start off light if you would like and then scale up as needed. All right, here you go team. 45 seconds on the clock here and we are working squat to high Press, squat to press here. Good, take your time with these movements, especially round number one. If this is your first, first, first movements of the day, if you're early, early moving here. If you're late at night, I'm sure you've been moving around, your body is warm, all right? Remember those front knees are gonna track over the front of your toes, keeping that chest up, that head looking straight ahead. Last four seconds here. Out in two, one, last rep and time. All right, team, 20 seconds of rest here and we have that high plank row. So you are either on deck like myself or you're gonna be in a standing position like Sergeant Barry. Bent over rows, thinking about attacking those lats. Coming up in four seconds here. Three, two, one, here we go team. All right, if you are in that high plank position like myself, keeping that core tight. All right, thinking about that navel being pressed back into your spine, keeping those glutes tight, rowing with those elbows close to your torso. Nice strong spinal alignment here, back is flat, hips are square. Last 15 seconds team, if you are bent over like, I know bent over row like Sergeant Barry here, nice controlled movements. There you are, Sergeant Barry. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. 
Good job. Good job. Good stuff, team. 20 seconds of rest here. And then we are into that 45 degree lunge with an added bicep curl at the bottom. Good. 10 seconds here. All right, team, up in five. 45 lunge, the bicep curl coming up in two. One, back of our space. Here we go, team. Let's work. Alternate left leg and right leg with that 45 degree lunge, opening up those hips with that 45 degree angle. A lot of our movements in life are not forward and backward. So gives us a little extra pivot to incorporate a little bit more in our inner thigh here. Last 13 here. Remember that bicep curl at the bottom. Good, chest is up nice and proud. Shoulders are rolled back. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. You've earned this rest here. Let's drop down to one knee with a low to high pull. Catch that breath here. Last four seconds here. 20 seconds, each knee, each angle. Low to high coming up. Here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Half knee, if you're on your right side coming down, left knee is up. You're going to track over and diagonally to the left side from low to high. Engage that core. Nice strong pull. Nice deep breath on the way down. Breathe out as you extend up and overhead. 15 seconds less. Let's go ahead and alternate from different angle here. Left to right, right to left. Out in four. Two, one, time. Good job, team, good job. How are we feeling? First round in the books. Good. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And the great thing about resistance training here is we want to be able to control our movements here. Thinking about the muscle groups that we're working. If we're working some lower body movements, think about our quads. <clears throat> work. Think about driving from those heels, engaging those glutes, engaging your quads, and standing up to standing position. 30 seconds of rest here. Grab some water. I know. Hmm. I know I will. <clears throat> All right, team. 10 seconds left. And we are back into a squat to press. Round one is done. So if we need to scale up for round two, let's do it, team. Let's challenge ourselves. What we put in is what we're going to get out of this. All right, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's roll, let's roll. Squat to overhead press for 40 seconds. Again, we're working on mind and muscle connection here. So think about as you squat down, driving up through those heels, engaging those quads. After that standing position, one fluid motion into that overhead press, utilizing those shoulders. If you do not have any weights, that's perfectly fine. Make nice, strong, Fists out in 10 seconds here. It's at least three more reps. Out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. High plank rows or bent over rows. Coming up in 15. How are we feeling, Defit Nation? How are we feeling? Let us know how you're feeling. Good job. I see you over here. I see you putting in the work. I see three, two, one. All right, team, high plank rows coming up <clears throat> or bent over rows as Sergeant Barry is doing right now. Again, back is flat, head is in alignment there. That, that chin is tucked in close to our chest. Elbows are tucked in close to our torso, out in 20. <clears throat> Good. Good, keep that back flat, core tight, last 10 seconds. Out in four, three, two, one, time. 20 seconds of rest here. Good job, good job. We are back at standing position with that 45 degree lunge with a bicep curl. 10 seconds coming up. All right, team, grab that weight coming up. Three, two, one, 
Here we go, team. Now we're working. Round two. Scale up if needed. Add a nice pause at the bottom if you can during that bicep curl. Nice strong movements here. Good, good, good. Remember that front knee is tracking over that front toe during that 45 degree lunge. Trying to hit a 90 degree bend with that forward leg out in eight seconds. And that rear, last five, three, two, one. Time, good job team, good job. Way to stay with us, way to stay with us. Keeping with some resistance here. Kneeling low to high pull. Good job team, we're warming up here. We're getting warmed up. Out in five seconds here, we are going to start in three, two, left knee is up, right knee is down. Let's work team, 20 seconds, pulling to our left from low to high. Keeping that core tight. Arms are relatively straight as they follow from right to left. Last three seconds here, and then we will rotate or alternate legs. Two, one. All right, team. Left knee is down, right knee is up. We are going left to right, low to high. Again, nice strong pulls. Deep breath in on the way down. Deep breath out on the way up. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. Good work. Good work, good work. I think we're starting to feel our full body being activated today. 40 seconds of rest here. Grab that rest, grab that breath. Let's get it focused, refocused, under control here. All right, team, how are we feeling? Let us know in the comments below. All right, do you need any modifications? Do you have any questions for us? Where are you watching from? Let us know, all right? 18 seconds here. We are back into that squat to overhead press. Again, squat to overhead press coming up. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. All right. We are up in five, team. Grab those weights. That weight should be in your hands. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, team. Let's work. Round three. First two rounds. First round, we learned it. Second round, we executed. Third round, we challenge ourselves even more. Good. The drive up through those heels. Really focus on engaging those quads as you come up to standing position. Last 13, team. Out in 10, keep it up. Last seven. Good, almost there. Sergeant Barry doing great. Last two, one, time. <sighs> absolutely, absolutely. Take that breath. Might as well carry your weight around with you. <laughs> They're staying in my hand because we're gonna need them. <laughs> Five seconds here. Three, bent over row or a high plank row coming up in two, one. Here we go, team. <clears throat> Let's work. Bent over row as Sergeant Barry is doing. How are you feeling, Sergeant Barry? I'm good, right? I always forget to keep my, my neck neutral, so I'm concentrating <laughs> over here. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Here's a little tip for that as well. If you think about putting the, co the collar of your t-shirt in your mouth, like, like I'm doing here, that's about the range you don't have to do it right now, but that's about the range that you would want to keep that chin tucked in. <laughs> Out in two, one time. <laughs> I'll show you that right now. Last 15 here. But if you think about grabbing onto that shirt of your one, that's going to be your angle of your, of your head right there. <laughs> little, small little tip, little, little quirky, but that's where you want it to be at. All right. Lunge the bicep curl. <laughs> Two, one, here we go team, 45 degree lunge into that bicep curl. 40 seconds of work here. Round number three, if you are just joining us, welcome to BeFit Live. We are on round number three, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Four exercises that we're gonna move through today. 
today we are focusing on a bit more resistance training. All right, focusing on strengthening specific muscle groups that we are working with in four different movements. 10 seconds left team. Every Monday, jump in and join us. Last three seconds. And time. <laughs> Good job, a quick 20 second break and we have that kneeling low to high pull. All right, team, right knees down, left knee is up. Seven seconds to go here. Grab that water if you need. Up in two, one, here we go team, 20 seconds from right to left, low to high. Again, focus on less of that pull and more of keeping that core tight as your first step. Second step, focus on those arms, nice and straight. Let's alternate, left knee is down, right knee is up. Good, arms nice and straight. It's like an opposite golf swing, if you will. <laughs> oh my golf fans out there. All right, team, five, last three, two, one, and time. All right, team. Good job, good work on this round. We've earned it. You have less than 60 seconds to hydrate. Towel off, reset, refocus our mind. Where can we scale up? Last round, best round, Sergeant Barry, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Indeed, <laughs> best round right here. Let's go. Let's go, absolutely. 30 seconds of rest here. Grab that towel, again, hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate. With these limited amount of rest, it allows us to keep our heart rate elevated. Okay, limited amount, limited amount of rest. Rest periods. It'll just challenge you that much more. Mm -hmm. All right, 10 seconds, team. We are into that squat to overhead press. <clears throat> if you have the means, let's scale up. If not, let's add a little pause at the bottom of our squat. Challenge ourselves. Last round, best round. Here we go, team. Two, one, squat to press. Coming up. Here we go. Now we're working. Good, nice controlled movements once again. Think about that quality of that squat, that quality of that overhead press versus a quick rapid fire. We are chasing the clock here instead of a rep count, 18 seconds. Any of these movements once again can be performed anywhere, whether you're at home or in a different setting. Last 10 seconds team. Deep breath in on the way down. Deep breath out on the way up, out in three, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. Plank to high rows or a bent over row as Sergeant Barry is doing to attack that black, those lats coming up in 10 seconds, 10 seconds. All right, team, max effort here. Max effort, three, two, one. Here we go, team. Nice strong core on both of these options is important. Keeping that back flat, that chin tucked down. Focus on that breathing as well. Focus on that row. Give yourself a little bit of a pause at the top. Really activate those lats. Good. Out in 14. Last eight seconds. Good job team, keep it up. Five, last three, two, last rep, and time. Good job, team. You won't see that one again today. <laughs> 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 absolutely, absolutely. 45 lunge to a bicep curl coming up. All right, team. Here we go. We're up in five. Grab that weight, back of the space. Two, one. Here we go, team. 45 degree lunge. Bicep curl at the bottom. Power your way back to standing position. Good. Most of these movements, they do not take a lot of resistance to really start engaging those muscle groups. Do what we can here. Last 18 seconds. Good. Keeping that chest up. That head is looking straight ahead, nice and proud. Out in seven. Last five, three, two, 
One last rep, finish it out. Time, good job. Good job, staying with one dumbbell here. Dropping with one dumbbell. You know what, to be honest, if you had two lighter dumbbells, keep them in one in each hand. Scale up, up in three team, two. Right knee's down, left knee is up. Left, right to left, high pull coming up. Here we go, 20 seconds. And we'll switch. Think about that breathing, that core's tight and engage. Minimal sway. Three, alternate in three, two, one. Alternate left leg is down, right knee is up. Low to high pull from left to right. Good. Here we go, team. Last set, best set. Finish it out strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Last rep for good measure and time. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, BFIT Nation. How are we feeling? How are we doing? This is a great time to wipe down. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Again, that was our last round. Good work, team. Good work. How are we feeling? Again, today's work was all about control, or all, a lot about form, a lot about dialing in our form, a lot about th thinking about those muscle groups that we're working, putting that mind to muscle connection, right? Really slowing down our movements, engaging a lot of muscle groups that we use on a daily basis. So we like to say every day is a workout here. Every day is a workout, whether you take these specific movements outside of the studio, outside of your house, outside of the gym, you're performing these specific movements on a daily basis. You may not realize it, but you are. So when you come into a controlled environment, you think about that form, you think about where that knee is dropping down, where those glutes are dropping down, where those elbows are tucked in, how to engage your core for stability, for support, for safety, all right? Thinking about where that head is following when you lift. Um, you know, all of these little things can really add up to uh, strength and safety as we take out, as we take these movements into our everyday lifestyle, okay? So that's that's the idea, not just coming in here and seeing how much weight we can lift around, but to be able to do it safely and efficiently and effectively, and to be able to execute it in a great way to, again, take it outside of our BFIT Live program. So I know team, I know great work today. Sergeant Barry, you did great today. How are you feeling today? Thank you, good. And um, I appreciate what you just said about um, making sure to take time that your form is right. And I think that's one of my favorite parts of working out with you because I feel like you always know when <laughs> I need form correction, which is awesome, or it's just everyone needs the reminder. But the only other thing I wanted to say is, you know, so change doesn't occur overnight. So sometimes when you're doing a new routine, you don't really notice change. It's almost like when a kid's growing, if you see him every day, you don't notice he's growing. But so I saw a picture of myself this weekend. I had like a little tricep happen and I was like, oh, look at there. So I was just like, I didn't even know getting some gains over here. So anyway. No, that is perfect. That is so, so well said. You know, I, you, you spot on, you hit, you hit the nail on the head here. It, you know, change doesn't happen overnight. And, you know, throughout these little steps that we take week by week, whether you're with us or you extend with us through Monday, through Wednesday, through Friday, or, or Monday through Friday workouts, you know, these little changes you may not be able to notice uh, increase or, you know, as your weeks go on, but you are, you may not be able to notice, but you are, you will definitely see the, uh, <clears throat> the effects of all of your hard work, all of your dedication, consistency uh, being put in week after week, day after day. So all of these little macro or micro uh, decisions and, and, and efforts, you know, scale up to large macro uh, goals and efforts. So yes, ma'am. No, <laughs> absolutely. You're spot on. You're spot on. So thank you so much for sharing that. And, and I know from, from my perspective, I've seen you grow and strengthen uh, so much from, <clears throat> we are coming up on a little uh, few months, less than a year of our BFIT live program happening and coming to you all and sharing live workouts to hopefully encourage and motivate you and, and to let you know that with our BFIT program, you are not by yourself on our fitness, on our health and our wellness endeavors, uh, on our journeys here. You know, we're here for the duration of the time and we're here for the journey, the long, the long haul here. So like you were saying, not everything can happen overnight and it doesn't happen overnight, but 
you know, throughout the long journey, you know, these are just many, many, many steps to get to our better, to bettering ourselves, to our health, to our wellness, to stay ready, to stay resilient, and to be ready whenever any activity needs us to be ready. So be fit nation. We thank you all. So we thank you so much for joining us today. Um, again, I, I hope you have uh, leave here stronger than when we first arrived. So with that, I am Roy Montes, your BFIT ambassador, uh, seeing Red Sergeant Barry over here showing us what it takes. So absolutely great work today. And a little tricep flex <laughs> to leave you on that note. Everybody flex going into your Monday. All right, starting off the week, nice and strong. We will see you again next Monday. All right, BFIT Nation. We're here every, win every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So we will see you again real soon. Signing off, guys.